So, the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is coming out in the theaters on the 8th of May. In order to maximize your understanding and enjoyment from this movie, you're gonna have to watch the following movies in a chronological order. But here's the problem. It's gonna take around 9 hours to finish watching all of these movies. And that's why I have made this small video which has more than enough information for you to maximize the deepest understanding and enjoyment from this movie without missing a single detail. In the end of the video, I'm also gonna tell you about what's gonna happen in the new movie. So keep patience and watch it until the end. Caesar had been depicted to be the hero of this franchise in the past three movies. He was raised by Will Rodman who was a neuroscientist working on a virus called ALZ-112 at Genesis Incorporation. Caesar had a heightened level of intelligence because he genetically inherited ALZ-112 from his mother, Bright Eyes. His mother was shot dead when when she broke out of the research facility and showed hostile behavior to the people inside the lab. This is Koba, another ape who was tested with ALZ-113 directly into his body. He later became the rival of Caesar in the dawn of the planet of the apes. Koba died in the hand of Caesar by the way. This is Colonel Wesley. He was the main villain in the war for the planet of the apes movie. He committed suicide with his handgun after finding out that he was infected with the simian flu virus by the doll of a mute girl named Nova. Now Nova is an orphan who was founded across San Francisco in a Shebe house. She is a mute girl and because of that the apes never managed to find out exactly what happened to her parents and if they are still alive or not. But I personally believe that her parents must be dead. Let's talk about the simian flu virus. ALZ-113 was the upgraded version of the previous 112 which was developed to cure Alzheimer's disease as well as many other other cognitive disorders. Unfortunately, Franklin from chapter 1 got exposure to ALZ-113 while testing on Koba. Within a couple of days, he died of the same virus. Before he passed away, he accidentally spread the virus to a neighbor pilot of Dr. Will and eventually the pilot worked as a carrier of that virus and spread it to all across the world through the newly infected civilians. And just within 10 years, almost all humans got wiped out from the face of the earth except for some handful of survivors. Let's talk about the timeline of this movie. Rise of the Planet of the Apes begins from 2016. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes begins 10 years after the first installment. War for the Planet of the Apes begins 2 years after the final events of the second installment. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will begin almost 300 years after the final events of the third installment. Let's talk about the survivors. The previous movies portrayed survivors from San San Francisco and the northern regions of America. Ironically, most of the survivors in San Francisco died during the ambush on their shelter by Koba. The others died because of the further spread of the simian flu virus. Some people died of starvation. In the northern region, there was a huge clash between the troops of Colonel Wesley from the northern border and the troops coming from another military base from the north because of some internal conflicts. Colonel Wesley had a plan to shoot anyone who had been infected or would get infected by the simian flu virus. But the military personnel from the other northern base didn't like that idea. They had been unwilling to give up on their friends and family. The base of Colonel Wesley had a lot of weapons, ammo, food, water and other valuable resources. And the military personnel from the northern base wanted all of that for their own survival. Because of their armed clashes in the end of the third installment, all the the men of Colonel Wesley died and when the fight was over all the attacking soldiers got buried alive in the snowfall. Caesar died because of the injuries he got during the armed clashes. The surviving apes crossed the desert and resided in an oasis over there and that event was the beginning of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I would love to tell you another thing that the apes had a habitat in the redwood forest across San Francisco. Most of the apes who resided in the redwood forest in chapter 1 of the movie came from the Genesis lab and the primate detention center after getting released by Caesar. I'm not quite sure if you need to know about this or not but Caesar had a wife and two children. Blue Eyes is the elder son of Caesar who was killed along with his mother by Colonel Wesley. On the other hand, his younger son Cornelius was shown to be alive by the end of the third installment. Now the timeline of the next movie begins 300 years after the death of Caesar. 
Caesar. So you can possibly find any family member descending from Cornelius as he was the only surviving member of the Caesar family. Now this is the last piece of the puzzle you're gonna need. Proximus Caesar is a bonobo who is abusing and twisting the ideals of Caesar to gain power. Noah is an ape who had to suffer because of the atrocities of Proximus Caesar. Nova is an intelligent girl who is gonna team up with Noah to fight against Proximus Caesar to bring about a peaceful coexistence between the apes and the humans. I have a doubt that Noah descended from the Caesar family. On the other hand, Proximus Caesar can be a bonobo descendant from Koba. He added Caesar to his name to make others believe that he upholds the ideology of Caesar, but in reality he is just another twisted motherfucker. It is.